Welcome back. We're on the streets. I don't know how you cannot like this next guy. Seriously. You want to talk about the salty of the earth. This guy's it, you know, he's a and he's he's a woodworker. The man makes furniture. And if you were to go to central casting and, and you know so you give me a woodworker. Give me some guy that lives back in a log cabin and, you know, makes makes furniture. They drag out this guy. And it's a good conversation. I think, you know, this guy is, uh, he's as genuine as he gets, I think, you know. He's, uh, and this is how I'd like, <laughs> and this conversation be heard, should be heard and seen by a lot of people because, you know, the people that buy what we're selling um, are going to buy it from people who are genuine. He brings it up, and in the course of this conversation, he, I, you can tell that the man's most likely a Christian. Uh, he was a little taken back by my work, which is understandable. My work is uh, a slap in the face. I, I, I'm i just not a subtle guy. I mean, you know, there are other people that can be that way, and you, and I'm sure they you know, their, their work is worthy. Uh, they're filling that void. Uh, so I hope you enjoy this one and share it, because people have to see that, you know, what a, what a conversation is like. And uh, this brings up a lot of good points. So, you know the old routine. If you uh, like this uh, video, well, then hit that like button. If you care, you share. Uh, and if you can, you can contribute. I've got a few new designs up. I'm going to see if I can kick out a few more here to add to my uh, repertoire and uh, your choice. Oh, and I do have, uh, I, I, I got a new Hillary Clinton uh, on display here, as you can see. Uh, and the printer made a mistake. Instead of putting it on a corrugated board, he just printed it out on vinyl. So I have a vinyl Hillary that I would like to do something with. And, uh, I mean, I have no use for it. I mean, unless I want to target practice. So, I, you know, but, but I'm not anywhere near where I could do that. Uh, so, if anybody would like to go ahead and have a vinyl uh, printout of Hillary to do it what you will, and of course, I do not advocate advocate it any time or any instance any violence towards anyone that isn't you know a defensive measure but you know if you're in the need of a life size uh, target uh, I, I, I could supply that to you so uh, anybody would be interested, I mean, just get me in, get me in touch, and, you know, get in touch with me, and uh, I'm sure we can work out, you know, a, a fair deal for both of us. So uh, let's get to this one, and, and uh, let's, let's talk to the woodworker. Let's get on the streets. Oh, great. Furniture I built. For, I built uh, Instruments too, I'm a luthier. Great. My dad was a master carpenter. Nice. Yeah, I saw, I grew up with a hammer and saw me, and I have a great appreciation for real work. And I got into miniature building for a while, I got into uh, carving wood. Nice. I mean, I was, yeah, I just love working with my hands. It's doing stuff with your hands. Oh, yeah. There's nothing, you know, I always say this is women have childbirth, we build things. That's all we can do. <laughs> we can't make it for that. How do you how do you beat that? Huh? How do you beat childbirth? Yeah, it's a great craft. It's uh, I don't know. I I assume like 
Are you having as hard a time as everybody else that I find that's in the crafts, finding young people to get into it? Oh, absolutely. My boss and I talk about it all the time. He's uh, he's 68, and uh, we talk about it. We just there's just no interest. We we're we're gonna have uh, the last few couple of decades, I suppose, of where technology and interests and video games and all of that have gone. People don't do hobbies. Kids don't even know how to do hobbies for the most part, yeah. and we're uh, we're going to run out of people who are skilled in the, in, the, in the. And with things like 3D printing coming into play, I mean, you can you know print a chair. You know, you well, know. yeah, I've yeah. Yet to see what that really. Oh, they're already doing it. I know, but I'm I'm skeptical about how. When you build a chair out of wood and you think all through all of the pieces and the angles and you do a few prototypes and you uh, adjust things and you come up with something that functions and is strong and is comfortable and looks beautiful, you can feel the well, that's, hair that goes into it. But something that 3D prints, well, that's, it's not that's my happen. point, is that we've already, we, you brought it up because people are into the games. There was a, a program I watched yesterday just that was kind of scanned. Where's a study of this kid? I mean, it's like, I, don't know, I guess he's about six, seven, eight years old. All he does is spend time on the video games. It's, yeah. I mean, 12 hours a day, yeah. right? And the distance, and they've done the studies that the kids that do that wind up being aggressive, removed from society. They wind up, they don't know how to deal with people. So it's just the same thing. When you don't interact with people, when you don't interact with the wood, it that spirit that you put into that chair is missing in that 3D. The creative abilities that we yeah. should be developing in all of us for what we can do. Yeah. I mean, there's something to be said about there is creativity and definitely in, in, uh, in the technology that's developed. I'm amazed when I look at a phone and just even how the text scrolls up and down the page like how did we do this this is magic i know most stuff to me is exactly that i mean jesus so we're geniuses and how can we be such geniuses and so stupid yeah at the same time well it's a trend going on uh this belief that government should do it for us yeah. and can do it for us are you kidding <laughs> the, the, the examples yeah. are beyond yeah. count of how it doesn't work. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm in the middle of Minneapolis, St. Paul, a big a big blue area in the state surrounded by red cornfields and you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. The state is red yeah. except for this blue spot in the center which takes the state. Yeah, that's the same most every same here. I mean New Orleans the is a little cesspool. You can go across that river in a whole other world, huh? you know, so it's you know. Yeah, it's red out there, it's blue. Oh here. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Absolutely most cities are that way. Yeah. You know. You don't find that. Even in otherwise red states, I mean you go to Texas, Austin is completely liberal, you know. Even up, even up in Boston, you get in the country of Boston, you find red. Sure. You know, it, 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 it's it's always, but they they programmed it that way. And like you said, the the governments, people who rely on governments, well, the governments concentrate the people in an area, sure. so they're easier to control. That's how it goes. I think I think we have to when we're trying to convey our ideas here. We got to be careful of. Keeping it um, civil, keeping it clean, you know, so we don't lose people. So that when potential converts look at ideas, they're not turned off. They might go, "Wow, that's a." That's yeah. a that's the an problem with the rise is there is trying to please everybody. In the, I'm sort of like the old school Lenny Bruce. Oh, right. Sure, I, that makes sense. You know, the, and the political correctness is sort of like I'm bucking that. Yeah. So I'm, I'm stepping over the bounds. I'm pushing that envelope purposely to push back on the political correctness. So that's kind of where I'm going. But indeed, I, you know, well, I don't know. I'd like I'm going to temper it. Well, I'll give you one of the concessions I'm going to make. 
I'm turning the grab here into do not grab. Yeah, see that? See, so that would be, because I'll get liberals that come up and say, you're promoting, you yeah. know, we're, we're sexual, yeah, blah, blah. I see, I, well, I disagree with that. Yeah, so I'm going to go, I'm going to put do not grab on. Right. So now not, they got nothing to bitch about. We're not bragging, we're not advocating for bad behavior against women. Or but, it's, but that still gets more laughs than you could count. Really? Even, even liberals have laughed at that. I mean, you know, you never know. As I said, you can't, you just never know. It's just that, you know, you try to temper and, and, and please everybody. You wind up pleasing nobody. So I just do what I feel, but, you know. But I, I catch your drift. But a lot of this, I mean, is it, does it even touch the true outrageousness? Oh, gosh, yeah. Of a left? Yes. Oh. But they're whatever, satanic. For you whatever, can't, you know. For whatever complaint they've got about Trump, they're acting far worse yeah. in their, in their uh, like, you're against something, but look at how you're behaving. Are you kidding? Look how they're treating I don't know if you've been catching the news, but the New York Times article that came out, the uh, op-ed? I'm reading about it. <laughs> they're treating it like it's... Oh, it, like it's, you know, like these guys are patriots for coming out and being seditious to the, you know. Are you kidding? Yeah. They're, they're probably lying, exaggerating, and it's all to make, it's all jumping on the, the bandwagon. It, there's a market for that crap. And it's... But, but, but it's like, it stuns me that they're putting in writing that, yeah, we, we know better than the people. We know better than the president. Right. We're the adults in the room, but we won't give you our name. I was just reading Kennedy's speech that got him killed. Which Kennedy? Oh, John Kennedy. I mean, the, the excerpts here, I'm going to just, I'm just going to throw it right back in the liberal spaces. This is a great book. You want to read this one? It's called The Killing of Uncle Sam. So this is Kennedy? Yeah. This is Kennedy 10 days before they blew his head off. Okay. All right. And the very word secrecy is a pundit and open society. We as a people inherit and hysterically oppose the secret societies, secret oaths, and secret proceedings. We decided long ago that the dangers of excessive and unwarranted concealment of permanent facts far outweigh the dangers which are cited to justify it. For we opposed around the world the monolithic and ruthless conspiracies that relies on covert actions for expanding its sphere and influence, on infiltration instead of invasion, on subversion instead of elections. Ah, ha, 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 ha. what's going on right, right now? The intimidation instead of free choice. This morning I woke up to a story. Uh, a, a Republican office was firebombed. Really? Two days after it was open. On guerrillas by night instead of armies by day. Right? So this is Kennedy's words, and this is what they're doing now. How can a how can a, a democratic a democrat party follower or a liberal leaning person read that and not realize that's what that's me we're doing? That's what the group that I'm aligned with is doing. But they they with the problem there's and there've been studies on this. These people have been conditioned and are mentally ill and well, conditioned to turn on a dime. It, it's like what Orwell says, being able to, to have two opposing thoughts in your mind at the same time and justify both. Double think. That's what's happening here right now. And to say one thing, accuse one side of one thing and be completely or obviously doing it yeah. like the, the Democrats at the Kavanaugh hearing. Right. Are you kidding? You're, right. you're a senator? You're acting like a child. And you, then... And Cory Booker says, I'm going to... I've got... Um, I've got a racist uh, text that I'm going to expose. <laughs> first of all... I'm Spartacus. <laughs> first of all, he didn't have anything new to tell us to, no. In the end, what he wanted to expose had already been. Yeah, so you're lying. You're just, you're just bluff. And then this racist text proves that he's not racist. Yeah. And you're just you're just blowing, wasting everybody's time and acting like a t teenager. It just.
Wow. I know, I know. It's insanity, isn't it? It's insanity personified. In the open now. In the open. Yeah. In the... Well, you know, I, my hope is that a lot of people will see this. Outrageous. Well, they do. I'm out here and proving just it. And go, you know... I don't think I'm I mean, I'm hitting with. liberals all the time with, you know, how do you defend the war in the First Amendment? And they have no answer. They have no Just answer for the to, things we're discussing right now either. Um, Louder with Crowder? Oh, yeah, sure. I love him. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I, his antics are uh, um, fantastic. I his, love his antics. His series where he goes out, you know, talk me, yeah. change my mind. Yeah, that's what I'm out here doing. And uh, yeah. it's interesting to watch the crowd, so many of them just want to, they're so used to name calling yeah. and get out of here. Really, free, a discussion is, you're saying that a discussion with someone is no good. It's hateful. Do you hear what you're saying, yeah. people? Yeah. Well, the school the school system has, has taught that, a lot of that. And that's why the tech giants are trying to take guys like Crowder down. They banned info wars. Oh Right? I mean, they're taking anything left of, you know, right of center down. I've been banned. I've had videos taken down. Isn't that something? Right. Yeah. I mean, they, I, you know, yes. I mean, this is what's going on right now. I don't know if you caught it, but Alex Jones went up to Washington, D.C. the past couple of days because they were having the hearings on uh, for the, yeah, you know, the... That he'd... What? And he just stormed through the halls of Congress like a hurricane, busted into press conferences, confronting the, the fake news guys. And so they, they threw him off of Twitter altogether because of that, which is probably when he was trying to prove the point. You know, they, they're yeah. trying to silence me. Here I am confronting him. And, you know, he was talking to Darcy, who was, you know, was on a campaign to get him banned. I mean, six-month campaign to constantly, you know, so he confronts Darcy, and he's not yelling at him, he's talking to him. But Darcy, I have Alex Jones yelling at me right now. Oh, he's saying, yeah. all right, all right. So, you know, of course, the left wing is going to be Alex Jones, you know, uh, bullying, and, you know. And yeah, he was insulting him. So what? Defend yourself. Yeah. You got, you know, if a guy comes out and says you something that isn't true, defend yourself. Just don't sit there and tweet he's bullying me. Lies. Be honest. But all of it is showing up. I've got people do see it. It is happening. I mean, look at hashtag walk away. All right. It's picking up momentum. What better? That's what I'm saying. I go ahead and be outrageous because I think there's going to be some decent people that go. You know what? I don't you've want to lost, be like that. You, you've lost me, yeah. 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 Well, I'm going to carry on here. Yeah, it was a pleasure talking to you. Here's a uh, here's a get-out-of-jail-free card from Hillary Clinton. Oh, nice. Yeah, this is good for any crime in the world. Great. Yeah. And on the back, you got my YouTube channel, so you can go check out my work. You can, uh, i got a lot of my designs and apparel, but <laughs> so if you really want to piss off labels, you can walk around and do that. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, the type of things that are labeled as hate. Indeed. Are you kidding? I know. I know. Again, it's it's them destroying themselves. Thank God for cameras and the internet. Yeah. You know, we, we need an internet bill of rights or something like that, though. We need. Good you know. day. All right, yourself, sir.